My name is Ryan Bruin, and I am a graduate student in the Department of Materials Science and Engineering at The Ohio State University. As a member of the Impulse Manufacturing Laboratory, my research focuses on the application of high-velocity techniques to sheet metal forming processes. In this video, I will explain how we use vaporizing foil actuators to perform sheet metal embossing operations. Vaporizing foil actuator metalworking is a recently developed technique that can be used for a variety of operations, including forming, embossing, and welding. The VFA process works by attaching the two ends of a thin aluminum foil conductor to durable copper terminals of a capacitor bank. The capacitor bank is capable of storing several thousand volts of electricity and then releasing it through the attached foil over a few millionths of a second. This rapid energy release provides a high current pulse that transforms the solid foil into a vapor, creating a highly energetic expanding gas that we use as a pressure source for metalworking operations. In order to apply this process to an embossing operation, our small vaporizing foil actuator assembly is used. This setup consists of a thick steel lower backing block separated by G10 insulation from two copper terminals. A capped on tape insulated foil is clamped to the two terminals with small clamp plates. Then, a polyurethane pad surrounded by a constraining channel is placed on top of the foil, and the aluminum workpiece is centered over the polyurethane. The embossing die is placed over the workpiece and then topped by a thick steel upper backing block. Four large clamping bolts secure the assembly to prepare it for forming. For this demonstration, a small embossing die was machined with several fine features only a few thousandths of an inch thick. This design features an outline of the state of Ohio and a buckeye leaf surrounding the famous script Ohio letters. These letters feature grooved machining marks in order to showcase the ability for vaporizing foil actuator embossing to imprint even the smallest textural details to the target workpiece. Once assembled, the small VFA assembly is relocated to the test chamber to be attached to the capacitor bank terminals. After the chamber is closed and the area is evacuated, the capacitor bank is set to a discharge energy of 8 kilojoules. Once activated, the capacitor bank charges its capacitors and automatically releases the energy through the foil once charging is complete. Embossing tests were conducted with two different foil geometries. The single path foil, shown on the left, has a middle section with parallel edges, and the single point foil, shown on the right, has a curved geometry that is thinnest at its center. The pressure distribution from the vaporization event is different for these two designs, which was determined using perforated plate testing. This method involves vaporization of a foil against a blank workpiece that is backed by a perforated plate. Pressure is highest in areas that exhibit shearing into the perforations, giving a qualitative indication of the pressure distribution. Results of these tests show that the single path foil concentrates pressure near the foil ends, while the single point foil concentrates pressure at the foil center. Using the knowledge of these varying pressure distributions, the embossing operation was conducted with both foil geometries. The resulting embossing quality was examined using an optical microscope, and the dimensions of the corresponding feature heights were measured using multi-image depth composition techniques. The results for the single path foil are shown on the left, where features near the foil end and foil center are magnified. The same regions were also examined for the single point foil results, which are shown on the right. The three-dimensional reconstructed images allowed for the measurement of the embossed features, as plotted on the graphs in the center. The top graph shows that the single path foil created more fully defined features than the single point foil for the outer regions, such as the state outline and buckeye leaf, while the bottom graph shows that the single point foil created more fully defined features for the centrally located regions, such as the script Ohio letters. This demonstrates the capability for vaporizing foil actuator embossing to tailor the pressure distribution according to the desired outcome of the operation. Thanks for watching this short video on vaporizing foil actuator embossing. Be sure to check out our website for more short videos and information about our impulse metalworking technologies.